So in this little tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show us how we can use the awesome PowerPoint transition effects in Camtasia, kind of like this. So here in Camtasia, I have a couple of video clips. Here's Joey, and then here's Joey's awesome dog, Kiro, Kiro the Wonder Dog. And what I want to do is I want to put a transition in between these two video clips. And certainly inside of Camtasia, I can do such a thing. If I go to the More tab and make sure my Transitions tab is open, I can just simply drag and drop transitions in between the two, and these transitions will happen. Everything from a simple fade to some of the other transitions. Some of them are a little cheesy uh, and a little jerky and a little old dated looking, but quite frankly, for most video work, a lot of these do a pretty good job. You know, let's drag and drop like a slide left on here. From a video production perspective, you know, there's really nothing tremendously wrong with that kind of a transition when and where I choose to use transitions. So we do have some options here and you know some of them are okay. But here's kind of the interesting thing. Inside of PowerPoint 2013 we have the ability to do other kinds of transitions and these are actually really kind of cool <laughs> transitions. Uh, so here I'm going to go ahead and just show a couple of, of demos here. One is like a page turn and there's a, a fracture one where the second piece of content here will just kind of crack and fall away. But by and large, as you saw in the first demos there, these are kind of interesting and cool. So let me show you how we can go steal transitions from PowerPoint and use them in Camtasia. So here's the way this works. I'll go ahead and delete this Camtasia transition and I have my two clips on the timeline. I'm going to scooch the second clip over just a little bit for a second and move my playhead in between and then I'm going to grab the playhead and drag, hold and drag till I get my yellow snap line on the very end of my first clip. All right. Then once it's snapped I'm going to use my left arrow key and I'm going to tap it once. So essentially I've moved one frame into the very bitter end of my first clip and I'm going to go to File, Produce Special, Export Frame As and we're going to save this out, give it a name and what this is going to do is it's going to save and I'm going to save it as a PNG it's going to save it as a PNG image, all right? And then here's kind of how my little trick is going to roll. Let's jump over to PowerPoint. I have a simple template here. It is a blank white slide, and it is a second slide with the most hideous color of green I could possibly pick. And the reason is I'm going to use this as a green screen, right? And you'll see why in just a second. So the secret sauce to this trick is I'm going to click on the first slide, right click and make sure I go to format background. And then instead of a solid fill, I'm going to go to picture or texture fill and I'm going to insert picture from file. Go ahead and navigate to where I saved that last frame image. What you'll notice here is if I hover over it, it is 1280 by 720. Okay, and that just happens to be the absolute perfect size for this little trick. And you'll notice that it fits in this widescreen slide just perfectly, right? So let's kind of see what that looks like. Let's move to the second slide and then I go to the transitions tab and I can just start playing with some of these. Go ahead and click on different ones. I kind of like this one because it makes Joey's eyes go all goofy. So I have a curtains reveal. Uh, this drape one is kind of neat. 
So it's there's a fall over that we, we saw all these in the preview and basically this is all now set up to create a little video transition. Now one of the things that I've done is I've kind of changed some of the settings here. For example the duration of this first slide let's think about this a second. I'm going to go back to Camtasia Studio. If I'm going to transition from here to another clip I don't want like any time really where this is is really just standing still because this is a video clip. Joey's moving, moving, moving and then boom what I want to have happen is a transition. I don't want to have two seconds of him staring there blankly at me. So I changed the duration of this first slide down to 0 0.01 is how long that's going to last. The second slide like I mentioned has a very lime green color to it and on the transitions tab now I can pick one of the cool PowerPoint 2013 transitions. And the coolest ones are in PowerPoint 2013. Uh, some of the PowerPoint 2010 or even earlier transitions are uh, almost as weak as the ones in Camtasia. But in 2013 we start to get into some some of these really interesting kinds of things. What you're going to have to do though is you're going to have to kind of play with these. Some of these work really well with this trick, some don't. For example, I mentioned the drape one is pretty good. Curtains can work. The wind, I love that one. Prestige, kind of like a ta-da! Fracture, uh, the page peels, and things like that. When you start getting into things that use a gradient, like that wipe, uh, you'll see in a, in a minute that's not going to work all that well. Some of the switch uh, or gallery and these are just kind of weak and lame in my opinion but you certainly could do them. One of the tips is that for some of these transitions you would definitely want to jack down the, the time. Okay, let's go back to the curtains one for a second. Curtains. Okay, six seconds to do this transition is just stupid long for the most part. Unless you, you know, have some dramatic reason why you want this to be six seconds. Just be aware that you have the ability uh, to kind of jack those down. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one. Let's do the fracture. Okay, and two seconds, eh, not necessarily too long, but I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. So I've set my first slide image which is the where the transition begins. PowerPoint does its thing and now all I got to do is go to file, export video. I don't have to record anything or anything. I'm just going to create video and you'll notice what I did here is I set seconds spent on each slide down to zero. Okay, because I don't want a whole bunch of extra rainiest time, you know, cluttering up my video. You'll see why in a second. So I'll just create this and save it out as a video file. Then in Camtasia, we'll just go and we'll import them, right? So just navigate to where wherever you saved your PowerPoint video. And here, I just have a whole bunch of examples that I saved out. So let's see, here's one called Box. And the way I'll use these now is here's my first clip, here's my second clip, I can go ahead and probably put those right together to begin with and then just drop these on top. And I want it to start right at the very end of the first one. Okay, so let's scrub and let's see what that looks like. So Joey's working, he's talking, and now he's going to kind of go that way and in comes ooh, a green screen. Well, that's where the second part of this trick comes in. So I can click on my video from PowerPoint. We'll go to the More tab and to Visual Properties. And I'm going to use the Remove Color feature. Right? So Remove Color. And what you'll see is that that which is underneath is going to kind of show through. Now, you might have to monkey around with, with your settings here and stuff. 
So, yeah, here this is, well, that's pretty green right there. So I'm going to have to work with the tolerance. And all I do really is you, you just got to play with these. Because depending upon the last time that you use this, if you did, if you've ever used it, it kind of remembers the settings to a degree and, you know, so I might need to dial it in just a little bit. But now I have a nice smooth transition. That's kind of interesting, right? Let's try a different one. Let's delete that. Uh, let's try, I'm going to do the curtains one. So I want to show you another trick. So drop it on top and put it right at the end of the first one. Okay, and now I'll get my green screen. So click on the clip, visual properties, remove a color. And I should be pretty much tweaked in uh, because I'm using the same horrid lime green color. So like I mentioned before, sometimes those transitions take too long. Here's a little trick I could do just to speed it up if I wanted to. So this is a transition and I could right click and mess with the clip speed. For clip speed, I'll just change one of these parameters, I don't care, and then grab the handles and make the transition happen faster. So sometimes that's even easier, you know, than trying to mess with any of this stuff here. Ugh. You know, you, you hardly ever figure it out right. <laughs> if I want to dial it in, be aware that you can use the clip speed here and make this thing go as fast as you want, pretty much. Pretty cool though. And I, I do like the way Joey's eyes go goofy there. That's just the curtain transition. Uh, you'll also notice that these two video clips are somewhat similar in their shading and their color and their lighting. This trick gets to be a whole bunch more dramatic when you have a lot of contrast between the two. So actually, let's try that. Let's move Kiro, the Wonder Dog, out of the sample here and I don't know let's go to the library and I could use anything I could use an image I could use another video clip I think what I'll do is how about if we make a transition to a YouTube end card because this is kind of a practical application and you guys should have access to all of these end card graphics so let's put that down there and now, so I have this video clip, and yeah, let's make it even more dramatic. Let's pick a blue one. There we go. So that's a bunch different than that, and hopefully our effect might end up to be a little bit more dramatic. So here we go, and there goes Joey. Thanks for watching YouTube End Card. Right? So basically, it's a, a couple of step process. So if you think about it, for every video clip that I wanted to transition out of and into something else, I'd have to grab the last frame of this clip, right? And do the trick, do the deal here. Set that as the image and export it as a video. But it's really quick. <laughs> So I wouldn't do it for every transition in Camtasia, but like I say, I kind of like the idea of uh, maybe I use it once in a project and maybe it's to transition to my end card, right, if I'm uploading to YouTube. So it's just a little tool for the old toolbox, a little arrow for the old quiver, and um, hope you find that useful.